Hey, what's up guys? It's Yangbang, and I'm here to bring you guys the long-awaited episode 6 of Mata Weapons for Blade and Sorcery. And with that said, I have to apologize again, which seems to be something I do a lot on my channel, that the footage in this video is from update 6, and the mods that I'll be showcasing have long been updated to better and cooler versions of themselves. But that's nothing too big to worry on, because that just means that I'll have to redo these mod showcases again, but with all their brand new features. So until that time, sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. I go first, to me. Yes, sir. Yes, Lord Vader. Our scout teams have reported that the rebels are hiding inside this base. Infiltrate the base, crush the rebels, and we will find what they're hiding inside. Understood. By the way, sir. Starting us off, this is Kingo 64's The Outer Rim Mod, the leading foundation for all things Star Wars and Blade and Sorcery. And like I was saying, this was made back in U6, so I didn't have the right types of secondary mods to make myself look the part exactly, but I still made do. So we're going to jump right into one of my favorite areas of the Star Wars franchise, the Clone Wars, and show off some of the weapons of theirs that we get to try out now. Take a shot with the DC-15 Alpha, the Clone Trooper's staple rifle, seen many times throughout the prequels, and the DC-17 Hand Blaster, filled it to the elite soldiers of the Clone Army. A popular weapon seen iconically with troopers such as Fordo and Rex. But okay, enough of the dramatic music. We came here to see some action. Blast them! And now stepping forward in weapons and troop development, we have our famous and most well-known, the Stormtrooper. Bringing along with him, the E-11 Blaster Rifle. I could have done a cool action montage with him, but for the life of me, I could not hit anything. Maybe it was the helmet. One thing I gotta say is that my favorite thing about playing with the Outer Rim mod is hearing all the iconic sound effects. It's like being in my own Star Wars movie. So maybe our makeshift troopers here weren't able to hold back the tide of rebel soldiers. But have no fear. We got a specialist to call for such matters. Bounty Hunter. Yes, Lord Vader. I require your services again. Armed with DL-44 Heavy Blasters, the iconic weapon of Han Solo, and still part of the main Outer Rim mod, our new showcase character here is going to demonstrate for us the complicated business of bounty hunting.
Okay, I think that's enough of the blasters and the laser guns for now. We gotta focus on what really makes Star Wars, Star Wars. And I got a whole collection for you guys to see in action. Enjoy the light show!
And now, last but not least, my favorite Star Wars character, and with an extended special showcase, just for you guys. Give it up, Vader. We have you surrounded. Lay down your arms and surrender. We have you cornered and outnumbered. All that I am surrounded by is fear and dead men. Now you guys can see why Darth Vader is my number one favorite character. But in this vast galaxy of ours, I often wonder, are there more than just Jedi and Sith that can claim the badassery in the stars? In the name of the Emperor, die you heretic scum! Uh. I will stop the corruption from out of your face! Come now, brother. Remember, discipline. Why? This is my discipline. Look there. Heads up, brother. Hail! More corruption for my boot. Ooh, shiny. And now, for weapons on the more brutal side of the galaxy, here's Silk's Warhammer 40k, Chainsword, and Bolter Pistol. And in his holy name, we slay!
Well, alright guys, thank you so much for watching my video. Remember to like and subscribe if you guys enjoyed my nonsense. I've got plenty more video ideas coming, as long as time permits me. Thank you so much for your time, and I got all the links to the mods that I used in this video down in the description. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out guys.